welcome back here watching editors round table on cnbc tv 18 it's been an action packed week for our markets as we navigated the global turmoil the fed decision and finally to cap it off the amendments to the finance bill so we discussed all this and through all this uh, nigel one thing that remains constant is the love for travel yeah. and the minute you get a holiday everyone is ready to leave the shores of mumbai you just came back and you've done some study on how the hotel industry is looking now well you know it all started when i was looking at going for a vacation i started checking out hotels and the rates were absolutely skyrocket and even occupancies were very very high so i said let's dig a little bit more first of all i'm worried because next month the credit card bill comes so i'm a little worried on that front but otherwise it seems for the hotel industry you know we talk about discretionary spends getting pulled back but at least as of now the number of check-ins are outweighing the checkouts particularly for this space and i'll say that I'll, i'll just break it up into three big buckets one is what are the triggers that are supporting one is the ongoing g20 event so the occupancies are high out there the other couple of factors that we're looking at is we have big sporting events you have a world cup later this year cricketing world cup and we know the country is gripped with cricket you have ipl as well that's out there and corporate travel that's picked up but international travel is yet to pick up you know i understand it's only around 40 50% of what it normally is so there are enough triggers that are pushing it higher that's one bucket of it the second factor that we're looking at is the uh, the revenue per available room and i just remove the last 3 months you know for, for the industry on the whole october november december just take a look at the big increase that we have seen so average revenue per room as well is good and the analysis that's coming out from most of these hotel companies is demand is far better in comparison to supply so demand outstrips supply that's always good news for the industry a qu quick few points on a few of these listed companies indian hotels the best ever results is what they delivered in the past quarter and they are firing both on the arr as well as on the occupancies shali well they're not really there in terms of occupancies but yet operating leverage is playing out telling you the revenues per room have really gone up then we move to eih or there as well you have the quarterly occupancy which is looking very very good finally lemon tree they are saying that occupancy is still not at peak but they deliver the best ever results revenues a beta you know profitability and they are also bracing for the time ahead because they are adding a good amount of hotels and a good amount of uh, rooms as well so for the time being it appears there's enough of triggers to support the hotel industry at least for the next couple of years the only problem is if things get a little bit dicey will that be a toss up between arr and occupancy for now it seems to be that the number of check ins are way more than the number of check outs and before we finish up just putting out a valuation snapshot as well for our viewers well um, nilesh we have discussed a lot of themes let's talk about some fun stuff i'm sure you love to travel as well but what about the hospitality sector the unlock has played out or there's still more to go would you look at the space yeah we've been constructing on the constructive on this space and it's clearly been one of the outliers um of of uh, of whatever you could call in terms of revenge travel or the way the consumers have behaved post covid so clearly this has been a stand out sector um and it's yet showing the strongest signs i mean yet uh, it it continues to kind of be very robust uh, like what you talked about there's still some room for occupancy levels to improve arrs are very strong uh so what it looks like at least is that for the next 3 to 4 quarters or, or for at least financially at 20, 2023-24 it's probably one sector where you'd still see double digit earnings growth um the big challenge for them would be beyond fy24 because i think uh, they would pretty much run out of capacity and unless they kind of have some new capacity coming up uh, they won't be able to kind of uh, demonstrate the the growth momentum so i think it looks good for now for another 2 to 4 quarters beyond that I think they will face some kind of a plateau because they'll run out of capacity. Mm, I can I, I can attest to that. I was in Odisha uh, mm -hmm. for a short break, and in Puri we wanted a late checkout in out of the one of the hotels, and they said, "Sorry, sir, I mean we are packed." So yeah. you know. we got half an hour grace that's all but we had to pack up so more check-ins as uh, more check-ins and check-outs uh, check i experienced that as well on my trip uh, you know i'd gone to dubai and they said that it's pack up time 11 o'clock so <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately with the two kids mom dad you know rushing out that's all right uh, nilesh uh, thank you very much for joining us it's great speaking with you uh, and have a good restful weekend we all need it and see you back soon again from all of us here it's goodbye thank you very much for watching another edition of editors round table programming continues stay with us